But uh, one of the constants of this show has been Tony's children and Tony's dog. For many years, uh, I don't know if my dog Maggie, who is now almost nine years old, I don't know if she's, she's a Britney Spaniel. I do not know if she's smart for Britney Spaniel or not smart for Britney Spaniel. I don't know if Britney Spaniels are smarter than other dogs. I mean, I don't, I don't know where she ranks on the chain. I mean, I have no idea. I am one of those people who believes that dogs are pretty smart. A lot of people who actually work with animals think that dogs aren't all that smart compared to many other animals. But I'm not here to judge that. I think my dog is a relatively smart dog. You know, And she, like, she has, uh, like, like a lot of dogs, she likes to eat everything in the house that, you know, that's food, but she also eats a lot of paper. Yeah, you've uh, said that. My money dog, at times. My dog has eaten money, eaten $150 worth of my money. My dog uh, likes one of the things she likes to do and why we have to keep the doors closed on all the bathrooms in the house is my dog likes to uh, eat toilet paper. And often, and I mean often, if you leave the door open and she doesn't think anybody's around, she'll go into the bathroom. She will take a gigantic bite out of a new toilet paper roll and drag the toilet paper all around the house, including from downstairs to upstairs. <laughs> rolling the house? Yeah, rolling the, uh, yeah uh, toilet paper all over the house. So she likes to do that. All right, but the thing she likes to do most is to go through the garbage. And as a result of that, she was smart enough. I don't know what kind of garbage can you people have in your kitchens, but, you know, many garbage cans, if not most garbage cans, are those kinds of garbage cans where if you step on a lever at the bottom of the garbage can, the uh, the top yeah. flips up. Uh, generally a kitchen type of now, trash you know, can. That's what it is. A kitchen trash can. You step on the lever, the top flips up. Now, my dog isn't smart enough to, to do that. Yeah. But there's no reason to do that. What she learned to do over a long period of time was wedge her nose underneath the lid of the garbage can and flip the garbage can up and then stick her whole body in the garbage can, take out whatever was in there, tear through the house with it, <laughs> eat it all up, tear it to shreds, and you come home and you find your garbage can undone. Now, we started to take, as a result of that, we started putting a brick, a brick on top of the garbage can. And this is not very pretty, and, and here's what happens when you do that. Uh, the garbage cans that we used to buy cost, I don't know, $40, $50, that something much? like that. They were enamel, yeah. ceramic enamel. You know, and you put a brick on top and it chips away. It invariably chips away at the top of the garbage can, discolors the garbage can. We could not find a brick-colored garbage can. We began to put tin foil over the brick, mm -hmm. and even the tin foil would, would uh, rub off on the top of the enamel, and it would make for discoloration. But, you know, you learn to live with that because better to do that than to have the garbage all over the house. Right. Well, a few years back, the dog learned. The dog learned how to get rid of the brick. The dog just nudged the brick off. And in the middle of the night, sometimes you'd hear a colossal crash <laughs> from downstairs, and it was the d dog getting into the garbage can. To make a very long story short, about a month and a half ago, my wife went out and bought what was advertised. Now, believe me, if I knew, if I knew the name of the store where she bought this piece of junk, <laughs> I would say so out loud. If I knew the name of the garbage can, uh, that that is advertised as dog proof, and it is garbage, garbage, or garbage in, garbage out. In this case, I would say it over the air, but I don't know it. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't know it. But she comes home with a a much larger garbage can, and it also has the lever on the bottom. But it has it's it, it sort of uh, the lever doesn't just push up one thing. The lever opens. Two different sides, like a trap door. Really? And this is supposedly, for reasons I don't understand, this is dog-proof, they say. It's also much taller than the garbage can so that we there, normally have. there's two doors that kind of open up. Yep. Yep. Okay, well, like that's, that's bomb, understandable. Like bomb bays in, yeah. a, in, a 19, uh, in a World War II you yep. know, movie. Okay, it's Another old reference. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> like bomb bays in the Vietnam War movie. <laughs> okay. Because they're pretty much the same. Yeah. Movie. So in any case, this is, and this is dog-proof. I'm told this is dog-proof, right? I don't know why this is dog-proof, but I accept that it's dog-proof. And, and as a result of it being dog-proof, why don't you take a run at how much it costs? It's a kitchen garbage can. Well, uh, you've told me what it is, but it's, it's an outrageous amount of money. $150 oh. for a dog-proof garbage can. 150 Now, as I've told you many times, I make a lot of money. Yeah. You do not have to throw a benefit for me. 
Having said that, I have not lost the value of money, and I have a sense that $150 for a garbage can is an awful lot of money, an excessive amount of money, but if it's dog-proof, if it's dog-proof, I'm going to live with for it. For that kind of money, it ought to come with a midget who sits on the lid and says, get out of here, <laughs> dog. Right. Okay. But I'm going to live with it. If, it's a, if it keeps the dog out at 150 bucks, yeah. I'm going to live with it because the last garbage can I'm ever going to have, and I'm very happy. Well, about... I don't know, three days after we got the garbage can. And also, you put the, you put, uh, the, the garbage is very low. Because it's such a big can, mm -hmm. the garbage bag sits pretty low. So even if your dog could open it, even if your dog could open it and stick his fat nose in it, he or she would have a long way to go. And there's a real possibility he or she could fall into the garbage, thus being trapped forever, which would make me laugh. <laughs> that, I think, would be very, very funny. Yeah. About three days after we got this garbage can, again, for $150, a lot of money for a can, you know, about three days afterwards, I came home and the garbage was all over the floor. The, 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 uh, the garbage can had been undone, mm -hmm. it had been pushed over, and the garbage was all over the floor. And this happens, by the way, whenever people in the house leave. Whenever Maggie is alone... Even though we put on soothing classical music, although perhaps she'd rather hear something else. She maybe wants to rock. You know, uh, the, the, the thing, she's alone, and she starts going in. She can't go get the toilet paper because the bathroom doors are closed. So she goes in to the garbage can, and she turns over the garbage can. Garbage strewn all over the house. This happened two or three more times in the next five days. Now, now I, am, I, I say to my wife, 150 bucks for this thing. Mm -hmm. What a piece of junk. What's Rip it off. doing? Now, my wife has a theory about how the dog turns over the garbage can, which to me is insane. Insane. She believes that the, do the dog literally backs up to the front door <laughs> and takes a run at the garbage can, leaves its feet, launches itself at the garbage can, seriously, and knocks the garbage can over as if the garbage can is a tackling dummy and the dog is Ray Lewis. We all know that's a penalty. The dog this can't is, do that. It's leaping. leaping. No yeah. leaping. It's leaping. It's leaping. Now, that is her theory, and, and with a straight face, she says this, and I've reached a point after so many years, I can't even say... Are you out of your mind? I'd say, well, that's an interesting theory. And I and I said, let me understand this. She backs up to do this, right? Yeah, oh yes. Yes. Running she start. backs up to do this, gets a running start, and leaps into the can. Well, I believe what happens is she just simply knocks over the can. Right. You know, that's what that's what any sane person would believe. But the reason my wife can't bring herself to believe that is because the can is advertised as a dog proof can so so my wife then believes since it must be so that the dog must go to extraordinary means i.e backs up 40 <laughs> feet touches touches the door with her back paws and at a certain count boom explodes into the garbage maybe she bought the dachshund model maybe she needs to buy the bigger so model. now so then i say i you know we we need our money we need something i can't live with this i hate this this is ridiculous gonna have to go back to the old enamel cans so she fires off an email to the people who make this can and does not tell me again doesn't tell me the brand doesn't tell me the store won't tell me anything about it gets an email back says you know we're really sorry because it works it works for uh, almost all pets and we can't imagine why it doesn't work for you but really you can't imagine hey here's here's why it doesn't work because the dog simply walks over to, to it and knocks it down yeah and then it opens up and she takes everything out of there it's strewn all over the house it's a pigsty every single time now we, the reason we can't put a brick on top of it is, A, it would do no good. B, when the brick flying off from that height, it would dent the floor. If, it, if, if, the dog, if by some strange quirk of fate my wife was right and the dog took a running four-footed leap at the can and the brick flew off, it could go through a window. That's right. Okay, so, yeah. so I'm not putting the brick on top of Domino the can. Domino effect. I'm not, I'm not going to do that at all. Cause that, that, so I am now stuck with a garbage can that doesn't work, that set me back $150. And now here's what we do. And this... This is the worst. We keep the garbage can next to, we have sort of one of those uh, island things in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You know, one of those, it's like the wood, it's, yeah, it's, it's an it's island. It's not an island thing. It's just, it, that's a countertop. Is your stove on that? No, it's a U-shaped countertop. Okay. And we put this thing at the end of one of the, the, um, the legs of the U. Mm -hmm. Now, a friend of mine came in the other day, he's very handy, and he said that the smart thing would be to drill a hole in the garbage can 
a drill, a commensurate hole through the wood, put a bolt in there, and lock the garbage. I said, no, I don't want that. Why not? I don't want to lock the garbage can to thing. Then, I, then if I want to change anything, I have to remodel my whole kitchen. I don't want that. No, insane. you take the bolt out. It takes two I seconds. Do I don't want to do it. Jeez. And not only don't I want to do it, but I can't physically do it. So now my wife has taken the new strategy is that every night when you go to sleep or before you leave the house, you have to take the garbage can and put it, wedge it into the... Uh, the U part mm -hmm. of this uh, this U shaped countertop. Now the only thing wrong with that is everything, because it now means that anytime you want to go to the sink, you got to move the garbage can. Anytime you want to open a cabinet, you got to move the garbage can. Three moves of the garbage can, and I will pick up the garbage can. I will personally throw the garbage can through the window. So I, this is my dog store. I do not know what to do about this. I'm out 150 bucks. For a complete and utter bull jive, you know, uh, garbage can, doesn't work at all, and my dog is laughing at us, <laughs> laughing every single day. Here's what happens. When you come home, and the dog is knocked over the can, the dog comes to the top of the steps and looks at you, just looks at you as you walk into the kitchen and see this. I look back at the dog, and the dog basically gives me affirmation, and then runs underneath the bed where I can't get her, you know, because only a dog can fit underneath your bed. Right. She knows exactly what she's doing. She does it deliberately. The garbage can stinks beyond words. And I'm out 150 bucks. Can I ask you two questions? Yeah, go ahead. What, Shoot the dog? Well, <laughs> what is the difference between a dog-proof garbage can and a, and a regular <laughs> and a regular garbage can? Well, obviously, there's no difference because this can is not dog-proof. I think... You got ripped off. You no, can get a really? ra you could get the same garbage can for ten bucks. Hell, boy, that that you didn't waste money on that same Bonaventure education, did <laughs> well, you? Well, and then the other thing of is, of course, I got ripped off. A lot of people, a lot of people I know, they they keep their garbage can under. Think. Can't do it. You can't do it at your. No, place. there's just not enough room. I mean, there's a there's a disposal unit in there. Wow. I mean, it's it's only about a foot and a half. And I, you know what? I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't want to have to keep opening up a cabinet and stick my head down there, my hand down there to put something in the garbage. I don't want to do that. I just okay. don't. I, I, I Is don't... that your other question? Yeah, that's my other question. I like the bolt strategy. That's what I would do. Drill ah. a big hole in a cabinet? Not I a big hole. That. It's not a big hole. I'm you, not doing that. You drill a hole through the can that mm -hmm. goes through the cabinet. I'm not mechanical. And then you, I'm not doing that. And all you do is I'd you... I'd rather drill you, a hole through the dog. You attach <laughs> it with a <laughs> wing nut. I'd rather drill a hole through the dog. I don't want to do that. You attach it with a wing nut, and then you're and all like set. Like I said, I don't know what a wing nut is. I don't know. I have no idea. Again, I don't think my dog is particularly... So I think she's a dog. Yeah. You know, she's a dog. She wants to get to the garbage. She thinks of a variety of strategies. But the thought that my wife has, that she's literally backing up like she's Carl Lewis. <laughs> she's going to the end of the runway and literally launching herself into the garbage can. How big because if it? that's true, then I would pay anything in the world to be able to get some device where when the dog did that, I'd pull the garbage can away. The dog would fly through the doors. Fly through the doors, the, the glass window doors.